During the Second World War, both sides of the conflict attempted to find the best way to penetrate the thick armour of enemy tanks. Anti-tank guns, as well as launchers and mines, were commonplace for this job. Many Hollywood blockbusters would lead you to believe simply throwing a grenade into the hatch of a tank was the answer. But weren't World War II tank hatches always locked? Well, in today's video, we look at how grenades could disable a tank. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. During World War II movies Saving Private Ryan and Fury, a grenade was dropped into the commander's hatch of the tank to disable it. But surely all tank hatches were just locked from the inside. This wasn't as common as you may think. For the most part during the war, tanks operated in wide open spaces, and depending on the tank, most commanders and crew would drive around with their hatches open. Of course, this was subject to the time of year and weather conditions, but the inside of a tank is an extremely hot, cramped and smelly place. Any opportunity for the men riding inside to get fresh air was taken. But surprisingly, even in the heat of battle, many commanders would keep their hatches open. If their target was at a considerable distance, being able to look out the hatch allowed for much better vision and sight targeting. Even when the enemy tanks were firing back, a commander didn't need to lower the hatch. But if small arms fire began, this is definitely when retiring to the safety of the inside occurred. But did tank hatches have locks? Well, yes. The vast majority, if not all hatches, had some form of locking mechanism from the inside. The Tiger tank, for example, had bars which moved across the hatch and were operated by a wheel. Many others had simple latch-type locks which were moved quickly by hand. But most crews rarely, if ever, used them. This came down to safety. World War II tanks were incredibly dangerous. The need for a crew to exit the tank quickly in an emergency was essential. So keeping these hatches locked caused an unnecessary time delay to their exit. These were only ever likely to be locked when enemy infantry was close by, and the tank had no infantry support of their own. Most infantry units on both sides would utilise anti-tank launchers, such as the Bazooka, the Piet, Panzerschreck or Panzerfast, to take out tanks from a distance. This gave the soldier some safety and allowed them to hit the tank from a concealed position. Mines or sticky bombs were used and required these troops to get closer to the tank, but still not on top of it. Even grenades or incendiary devices would be used to target the tank's weak spots, such as the engine or exhaust systems. Climbing onto an enemy tank was an extremely dangerous enterprise, and one which likely resulted in the tankers simply locking their hatches. But if somehow a soldier could mount the tank and the hatch unlocked, they could in theory open it from the outside and throw a grenade in. This would likely kill or at a minimum disorientate or severely injure most of the crew. But generally, there was simply no need for this. Examples of this occurring during the war are rare, with one story of a Finnish soldier targeting a Soviet tank. But with this, he mounted a tank and banged on the hatch, which one of the crew opened. He then forced a grenade inside. But even with this example, it required the crew to open it, and not a soldier from the outside. So overall, the ability for a grenade to disable a tank through one of the hatches was incredibly rare and unlikely to be a viable scenario at taking out an enemy tank. Do you think climbing aboard a tank to drop a grenade in a hatch was a viable option, or perhaps mostly a Hollywood exaggeration? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.